What is up, my friends? Welcome to a brand new Forex strategy game, RTS. This is a real-time strategy. Now, this game is called Era of Conquest, or Era of Conquest. I don't really know how to pronounce it correctly. But I got into this new game because of my friend in the Philippines, as well as a content creator named Mr. Sneaky. So he's been making videos about this game, and he said it's a pretty good game. So I've checked it out, and I actually started on the server um, 18, but I've already created a new account server in server 19. So I've learned a few things in here. And, you know, at first and the very beginning of the game, I think it was very overwhelming. And I had to go through all the tutorials as well. And I had to kind of figure things out along the way as well. So I know for a fact that this is not a... You know, once you get into the game, boom, everything is just simplified. There's a lot of things within the game. And my goal here is I want to break it down for you guys as a newbie, as a starter player like me. How can you progress within the game with a smoother ease? Now, this is what I'm going to do. There's going to be a timeline in the description. You guys can hover of whatever specific topic that you guys are looking for. For sure, some of these topics you'll have a question about. So I will try to explain them at the best of my ability. But understand this video is geared for the new players within the game. Eventually, as I learn more in progress within the game, I will try to do my best to give you guys advanced tips. Now, I want to let you guys know this video is not sponsored by the game. And we're just, you know, making videos in here because I think this game has potential. And I think this game is quite interesting. Um, I came from another game called Rock or Rise of Kingdoms. And I think this game is a really good competitor towards to that game game this game is also a civilization base which is very interesting which is we're going to be talking about here today as well now my name is shinshi42 for those who don't know who i am um, i make rts forex guides i make other videos as well for you know anything related to gaming um, consider subscribing if you find this video to be helpful and if you want to see more era of conquest videos as well all right, so we're going to go through this. I'm just going to try to make sure that I hit all the target points and not, you know, basically add extra information that are not needed. I know uh, typically when you guys look into the space, there are people who makes videos and they just add a lot of fillers in here. So I don't like doing that. I like to get into the straight to the point. All right. So my name is Shinji42. Again, subscribe and turn your notifications on for more Era of Conquest. So number one that we're going to talk about in here is the civilization. Now, as you guys can see, I have chosen the civilization Japan. Is there really a better civilization? All right. So now let's take a look into the civilization in here. As you guys can see, I am currently with the Japanese civilization. I'm getting a civilization bonus of 10% onto the food and 10% onto the wood. Now, as you can see, I have a... Tachibana Ginchiyo badge. So basically, I got this hero um, starting out. So there is multiple civilizations in here. There's Arabian, which you're going to be able to get a Baybar badge. And then you're going to get 20% stone bonus. And there's Chinese, which is you're going to get Li Shimin uh, badge in here. 20% onto the food production in here. And you will have French, which is Joan of Arc. You get 20% onto the wood. Roman, which you're going to get Scipio. Japanese, which I have. There is the British as well. You're going to get Bodica and Civilization bonus for food and stone. Um, you're going to have Germanic as well. You get Herman, Korea, Yisun Sin in here. And Russian, you will get Ivan. And then there's more in the future for sure in here. Now, here's the thing. Um, the bonus that you get from the civilizations are mainly uh, resource bonus. So it doesn't signify like, okay, if I'm going for this specific civilization, I'm getting a bonus of damage. Now, the heroes, I don't think it really matters at the end of the day, because the heroes, you will be able to obtain them regardless later on. One thing that I think right now, as we're starting into the game, um, I think you should just select the civilization based on what you currently like. So I really like the Japanese one in here. I like the design. I like the color. You can go for um, China. If you represent China, um, you can have this civilization. It looks cool. You can go for French. 
I think the architectures are pretty cool. You know, you can check the um, different ages here in the bottom. Um, I guess the last one will be Imperial Age. So right now, I don't think there is a best civilization to start with. But maybe later on, we can figure things out along the way. Perhaps it could be into the starter hero that you're going to get. I don't have the full grasp of the heroes yet, so eventually I will have them in my head. So for now, I would say just select the best design or what you know country you associate with. I don't associate with Japanese, but the name is Japanese that I have Shinchi 42. But I do like the Japanese, and you know she is pretty interesting looking in here. I like the Japanese hero here. So that's the civilization. There's multiple civilization. You can change, so don't worry. The only thing that's different there is that your starter hero within the game. So you can eventually get all these heroes, so do not worry about them. You will be able to summon them. Now, as you start into the game, what do you have to do? Well, there is this tab here, as you can see. You can hide it. You can unhide it. Um, in this tab, this is pretty much your main missions. So in this one, you get your chapters, you get your side missions, you get your daily missions, you get some chests in here, you get 100, you get some gems, an ancient scroll, you get a lot. These coins are very helpful, which I'm going to try to explain it further as well later. Uh, just give you an overview about the coins. And then there's more about here. You can see Master Quest. So there's a shop here as well. There's a lot of things within the game, and it can be overwhelming. So I'm just trying to break it down for you guys. The first thing that you got to do as you start into the game is you will want to click here and basically go through all the chapters in here so basically you just click go and then it tells you that okay i gotta do this one well, i'm in the territory you can see i'm gonna go and attack this as i click this i'm gonna send my units i'm gonna change it to archer attack boom now i'm marching i'm just doing all my quests this is the first thing that you gotta do get working on your chapter so basically i'm going to cl click go and i'm going to try to complete them and to finish my chapter in here the next thing that i want to tell you guys in here is that you need to work on to your civic center so i'm going to be upgrading here clicking that button and it tells you what conditions you need to finish so for me i finished everything already i need to complete chapter five and once i do that i can upgrade it to civic center six and that will allow you to basically grow your city increase your prosperity which the prosperity is basically your power i believe right here my prosperity you also have a uh, lord score in here as well your hero score your commander score so that is what you have to do so i'm gonna go and defeat some rebels in here this is what the quest is telling me to do and sending my march in here there we go. And then we're just trying to finish it up. So just keep in mind that you got to work hand in hand with your civic center and as well as your main quest. So um, this is the number one priority that you need to do. Upgrade fast so that you can do more things within the game. Now, let me explain resources. So some of you guys might end up struggling on resources. As you can see, my resources is now low. The resources are above in here. This is going to be your grain, or I call it food. You get your wood, you get your stone, and you get your iron as well. And then you also have gold in here, or coins. As you can see, my coin is pretty much maxed out in here. Um, that's pretty much you know the full circle in here so um what can i do with these right so you can see i have a production per hour and these production per hour is what you get to do in basically i would i don't know what to call this area your exploration land perhaps you can explore this land and then you will find mines so basically for example this this is a stone mine that i've occupied and no one can try to occupy it you know this is only for you and you will be able to produce stones per hour so basically this is what it's trying to do and this is what i get to yield per hour 5370 per hour um there is also of course the iron wood and gold in here and as well as the grain so you just kind of have to look for it in here to where you're gonna see you know the the uh, uh resources in here so um like this one will be the wood one in here um i don't know if there is the gold or the coin in here though i think i haven't seen it yet so please let me know if there is and um, i'm definitely curious you know there's iron i think the food is somewhere here as well like this is the uh, grain 
Yep. So yeah, the coin one, not sure if it's here per se, but let me know. All right. So I'm going to try to look for resources in here. I'm going to look for some stone resources. So I'm going to click the magnifying glass, which you can't see behind me. I'm going to go look for a stone, which is this one. This is a stone. As you can see, it's the same symbol. We're going to attack this one and we're going to set the right troop. All right, attacking. Now, I want you guys to click this information in here, this question mark. Basically, it tells you that you attack the resources in here. Um, as you attack them, you get instant reward right away, and you get some hero XP. And basically, the higher the zones, the higher the resource will be yield. There's also a bonus supply wagon, which as I capture this, you are going to see it. Oh, somebody is trying to steal. Oh, all right, so I got to go look for another one um oh some of them are in cooldown that's kind of unfortunate oh my god is he going to i wonder if i can actually help and attack this one at the same time i don't know three seconds two seconds it will be done yeah so let's see can i can i help and attack oh yes i can piggyback oh no i can't so um i guess that's unfortunate so we go in here, we go something where like these stones, they are in cooldown. So what you can do is in that case, I guess this is a good example. We can get out of the zone and look for resource points as well. All right, so we can click here in this zone and we'll go look for this panel. And I want to get some stone. So I'm gonna go for a level five stone. It directs us over here. We're going to attack this one. It will take us about two minutes on the marching time, which is fine. Let's go and click attack. And then we're advancing now. Now, as you finish capturing this, there is going to be a supply wagon. So basically the supply wagon, if it's, you know, uh, captured. So just like this one, there's a supply wagon. Somebody try to capture this if you don't escort it. Um, what's going to happen is that you're going to be able to um, gain some night owl coin if you attack somebody else's um, wagon. If somebody attacks, it's yours. I guess they can loot you. As you guys can see, this is the Night Owl Market. Um, this is where you get the coins. And you can see. And then there is also, I guess, like, script. Sure. I guess there's, like, a script here where you can uh, increase the level of your um, Night Owl as well. It's called uh, Black Card Points. So, um, it, this is definitely very interesting. And within your city, with the resources, as we're marching, you can see there is, you know... Um, basically resource as well within the city that you got to collect so i just collected some farm there's lumber yard there is quarry there's iron mine and you also have the gold in here now the gold is not used for any building upgrades rather it is used within your hero so maybe you're wondering oh how can i increase my hero uh, skills in here i have to enhance it it is using the gold in here so basically it gives you a little bit of information you can get large amount of gold through relics and guardians, through gold mines, and can produce more gold, basically. Um, you can't find gold within the resource garrisons in here. You're not gonna find them. All right, so now pay attention in this one, 56,000, as we're trying to kill um, this resource point. And as I capture this resource point, I will instantly get um, what I'm rewarded in here. As you can see, there's also a reward bonus plus 10%, an extra possible reward as well. All right. I don't really know all of this yet, but as I learn through them, I'll definitely talk about it more in the future. It has a countdown in here. I guess that's your, maybe your active skill countdown. I'm not so sure what that countdown was, but we are in battle right now. My HP is right here. All right. Um, there we go. What's cool about this is that you can actually see the skills being triggered. As you can see, I've instantly gained a lot of resources. And then we also have the supply wagon. You can escort it if you would like. I could escort it with my march. There we go. See, it will just walk with it. And it will, you know, go and it will be protected. And no one's going to try to, you know, steal it, basically. But, of course, somebody can still steal it. 
and probably battle you. I can also cancel the um, escort in here. It's going to take 20 minutes. I'm not going to do that. I can cancel and I can send my troop back home right away. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the troops. Um, the troops is uh, how do I explain this? Basically, you build soldiers and your soldiers can change into different troop types. And I think in this game, it's free troops. So you don't have to worry about um, paying for more troops. And the tiers of units of the troops, I think, for what I have understand, is that it's synchronized with everybody. So not everybody can be able to just whale up and push into uh, tier 5 and then wreck everybody. So there's a little bit of a fairness system within the game. So as you can see, this is your troops, all right? This is here in the conscription and you have your barracks. Your barracks will determine how many conscript per minute you can make, your reserve cap, conscription, conscription box hourly output, storage cap, prosperity. So when you go into your troops in here, you can see just by the design of it, you can see there's calves, there is the spearmen, there is the bowmen or the archers, there's the infantry as well. So this is pretty much what it does. All right, when I click onto this conscription in here, it tells you in the tutorial that you can actually use these reserves. You can either open them or close them. Basically, if you open them, you are using these items and it will cost you this thing. And what it's going to do is that it's going to increase the production per minute. Now, you would only want to use this, I think, in a situation that you are going to heavily be fighting. So if you're not fighting heavily, I would say maybe you don't really need to use your reserves. So that's how you can do things. There's also a setting in here. You can, wow, I didn't even actually realize this, but you can uh, tune things up in here if you would like. So a lot of customizability within this game. Very, very interesting. Now, if I'm going to battle... As you can see, this is my heroes, and I can choose what army I want. If I want to go for T1, and I want to go for cabs, you know, infantry, archer, or spearmen. So I can decide which one I want to bring in with my march. As soon as it leaves the city, you cannot change it. And this is the unit advantage system. Archers beat spearmen, spearmen beat cabs, cabs beat infantry, infantry beats archers. So when we go into battle... Let's go search for a rebel, level 5. Now, this rebel, it is a tier 1 archer. So when we go attack it, it will tell us to switch into infantry. So, infantry counters archer. Let's go and attack this one. But we're going to fill it up as well with troops. And that's where it basically takes out of our conscription. Basically, you just refill it. And your troops are being produced per hour, so you don't have to worry about, oh, you know, I got to click on this barracks, and then I got to produce more troops. It is automatically producing for you. At 54 minutes in here, my conscription will be full. But if I increase this by opening this reserve, you will see that within 17 minutes, it will be completed. So I don't want to do that right now, which is I'm not in a rush. I want to hoard these items, maybe during in war, I'll be able to use them and help me so that I don't run out of troops in a massive war. So basically, that's how the troop system in here works. There's further more details later on, which we can talk about in the future. There's this thing called the gallery, which is right here in the very bottom of the screen. And you go to the armors. Basically, you can equip armors or gears to your tier units in here. Um, you'll be able to see that later on as you progress within your scout miss. I think it's somewhere right here. I think it's this one. You can see this. That's pretty much what it's going to do. The armament factory. So you'll see that with the progress as you further get into the game. Now let's go an overview here about the heroes. All right. How do you summon heroes? That's basically very, very important in here as well. To summon the hero, there is this thing called summon in here on this tab. So click this one. And as you can see, you'll have these items. This is going to basically summoning um, better ones in here. And then this is going to be soldier soul. This is general soul. So I have five of the general soul. Let's go summon in here. Let's see what we get. See if we get something pretty lucky. All right. Um, oh, what did we get? All right. So we got a skill here. All right. Cool. So another one. Let's see. Another skill. I want to get some hero and flashing blades all right cool and basically we all got we didn't get any hero we got a bunch of shards in here that are gonna be able to increase your skill basically um i don't want to summon anymore 
So basically, that's where you're going to be summoning your heroes. You can actually see the probability in here on the rewards. You can see, click here to probability. You can see more about it. Um, but this is where you summon your heroes. So now when we get into heroes in here, there's a few things to kind of understand. Um, thanks to Mr. Sneaky for giving us uh, insight in here. You can see each hero can be awakened. You can see my purple. Uh, previously, this was purple. It was awakened by clicking the advance. You go through that in the tutorial. Basically, what it does is that it makes your hero better. Uh, once you get a full sculpture or full token, it will be able to awaken it for the first time. So what I notice in here is that you can see here, which are Sneaky have give us, given us some information. Um, the hero, El Cid, right now, it leads great onto the um, uh, calves. You can see it's A level and then infantry A and then very, very good onto archer and then A on spear. So this one is not bad. When we go into my Japanese one, it leads excellent in here onto the knights and as well as into the, um, what you call this, um, infantry in here. Now, I don't know if these are random per player, but I don't think it is. I think maybe everyone is the same. So let's take a quick look into my other account. So this is SSBA. So I log into my other account in here, which I also use the same. You can see it's the same SSBA. So it's all the same. There's no difference within the game about it. Now let's talk about the hero skills in here. There's a lot. Um, by the way, there is a tab here, which you can just click onto the skills and you can see everything in here. These are unlockable. Just click those. You have them unlocked. All right. For some reason, it's kind of bugged out. It's not giving us all the information in here, which is weird. Um, let's go into skill. Um, let's go into this one. This is your active skill. All right. And sometimes it can be saying different. It's not going to say active, but it'll say command skill or something like that. But these are your active skill. Those cannot be changed. All right. These cannot be changed. You can reset them and you can't change them. But here, the three-eyed gun, for example, I can discard this skill. All right. Click that. And I can find another skill in here. For some reason, I'm not seeing the description of the skill name, which is kind of weird. It might be a bug right now. See, this is my three-eyed gun. So I'm just going to equip this one for now. It might be a bug that they're having. So as you can see, it's now reset. But I got everything back when it comes to coins. So this is where you're going to be spending your coins. There's a lot of ways to actually get your coins within the game as well. Um, some of them through the events in here. You just get them. Yeah, definitely bugged out. Let me refresh my game. All right. So as you can see, as I refresh the game, um, the skills are back on in here. Yeah, there's a little bit of a bug. Um, but yeah, so basically you can uh, remove and change. You can customize however you want with the skills in here. Um, that's where you're going to be spending your coins within the game as well. I think going over the heroes can be a bit more complicated. So I think what we're going to do is... We're going to talk about it further in this specific video and kind of dive down into the hero. And I want to learn more about it before I even try to make further guides within the heroes as well. Uh, what's cool about this is that there is also attributes in here. You can see you can add points into this one. I've just been doing the recommended in here. So I don't know if that's the right thing to do yet, but that's what I've been doing. So if you guys know more about the game, please give me advice as well. The next thing that we're going to talk about is the alliance. Now, the game actually just puts you in... Um, randomly with a group of people in the same alliance, in, in an alliance. So you can click this alliance. This is basically random people that are in here, which there's election as well. People are trying to uh, try to get voted in here and, and, you know, you become a leader through the, you know, process of election within the game. Um, so there's people like saying some experience. I might as well participate as a joke, you know, and I think I had mine as well mine right here let's work together basically um so this is you know we're just trying to run for election in here as you can see um within this game um there's still a lot for me to kind of explore as well which we're going to talk about this in a different video um explaining more about the alliances in here but basically um you start off the game you get randomly ported somewhere and then whoever in your neighbors in here this is pretty much your alliance they're here um, there's a lot more of them in here. They're not being shown completely, I think. So this is pretty much where the players are within the city. So you can zoom out. You can see the players that we were uh, with. Um, I don't see my friend Solidus in here. So I think at some point it kind of gets overlapped, I guess. So we can zoom out further. That's our city in here. So this is my alliance, basically. So somebody on the outside, that's going to be a like, different alliance in here. And we got to go um fight them up i don't think this is another city where there is players though so um i'm still kind of confused but 
that's how I pretty much understand how they are. And then you got to conquer and capture some of these things. I think these are NPCs. So basically, that's how the main city and alliances in here. So you have to call it city. Um, and then I guess this is your kingdom within your city. I don't really know the exact terminologies right now, but this is your city. All right. And this is where your alliance members are located. Just keep that in mind. Another thing I want to talk about is the settings within the game. So I want you guys to click onto the profile picture. Make sure you can check it in here somewhere uh, within the settings. If you're in the mobile phone, you can actually lock the screen for being a uh, portrait or landscape. Or if you want to do it both, you can do it the same thing as well. This is where you get to see your profile, change your name, use your ID if somebody wants to add you as a friend. And rankings will be in here as well you can see achievements settings music or not you can you know change up your graphics operation you know you can change things up in here emoji again graphics change up resolution oh i should be 1080p right oh yep, there we go let's increase our scale in here there we go um you can see i can go for full screen mode or window full screen mode image quality movie max fps oh i can go 180 see anti-aliasing bloom shadow precision hotkeys as well you can change things up in here so i have to dive down further into this one as well but i've just changed my system in here which is pretty cool make sure to also bind your account um i don't really see it here where i can bind my account it doesn't have the option but i think it's on the phone that you can uh, make sure to bind your account to google or um ios or i guess this is apple apple play uh but yeah so you can also check out the characters in here you can create new role you can check the server um you can see the countdown of the server as well in here uh, as you can see this was created in you know 11 12 i guess um around 16 utc so those are very important one you can see that i have characters in here as well um this is not full yet the other servers are pretty full so try to join into the newest server as possible um, another thing is that time clock very important you can see the time clock right now this game uses utc time so right now it's 5 utc and you can see the date as well in here so let's talk about how to battle in here um i kind of talked about this earlier just the, the basic how we try to attack earlier so just basically if you're going to be attacking you can add three heroes in here basically i can add another one in here but my i think my leadership score is not enough right now so i will have to wait for that one um, basically you will try to see if there are players that will mark red um, basically if you want to attack i'm just going to show the rebels in here for now eventually i will show you how we can actually attack other players as we grow into the game so basically you just got to click attack and every time you got to make sure that you fill up your march just by clicking this as you can see it filled up my march and it you know picks up your army and put it there and then you can you know change to counter and then click attack marching time is right here I would always check the auto return unless maybe you're stronger in the future that you you don't need to auto return. You keep crushing enemies if you would like. So I'll just click attack in there and it will attack it and you'll get some XP. You can see the battle report in here. I still have a hard time trying to understand how the battle report to read them, but you can see that this is actually very interesting. A lot of details actually battle overview. You can see all the battle logs and you can see the battle stats damage in here. And then you can see the attributes data change as well and how things are working again these are some of the things that it's very complicated to me right now i still got a lot of things to kind of understand within the game in here so this is pretty much the basic guide in here uh, if you guys are specifically looking for something that you're confused of uh comment in the comment section below i will try to look into these comments and i'll try to address them in a video so make sure to say hello onto the video as well, especially if you finish this. Let me know if you guys are going to be checking this game out, downloading. I think it's a very good game. Definitely a competitor in the RTS 4X world. And I am really leaning into diving deep into this because I really like the game so far. So I think you guys should check the game out. Again, this game, I'm not sponsored and I'm just playing this as a normal player and just having fun. You know, um, just keep that in mind um, because I don't want you guys to assume things that I'm just trying to promote this. Um, I'm saying this because i truly find that this game is very interesting i think this game is somewhat um very good balance between the spenders the free to play and the medium spenders for what i see so far anyway thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys again next time